Okay, so this is a demonstration that's all about resonance of vibrations and what we call beat frequency. So I'll demonstrate first resonance. These are tuning forks and they're currently attached to a wooden box which will help direct their sound out the opening. With one of these tuning forks, when I hit the fork, it will vibrate at its natural frequency and that natural frequency is 256 hertz. That means that that fork is vibrating 256 times each second. So when you hit it, the sound that you hear is 256 waves per second, which musically speaking is a C. So when we hit this, you can hear the sound from that tuning fork. But the demonstration we're talking about today is resonance. What happens when an object is forced to vibrate at its natural frequency? This tuning fork has a natural frequency of 256 hertz, and this tuning fork is adjustable. Right now, it's set to 256 hertz as well. When I hit this tuning fork and point the boxes at each other, the sound waves from this tuning fork will cause this box to vibrate. When that box vibrates, it makes the tuning fork vibrate. So when I do this, I'm gonna hit this tuning fork, but you can still hear it vibrating. A lot of times people think it's the original tuning fork still making noise, but it's the other one. What's happening is the sound waves from this tuning fork are actually causing the paired tuning fork to vibrate. Because their natural frequencies are the same, when one vibrates, it causes the other one to vibrate. That phenomenon is called resonance. When something is forced to vibrate at its natural frequency, the vibrations might start really small, but they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Kind of like when you're on the playground and you're swinging on a swing, as you kick your legs back and forth, if you match the speed that you kick your legs to the frequency that the swing swings at, then those vibrations are gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger because you're forcing the swing to vibrate at its natural frequency so those vibrations get larger. When I hit this, the other one starts to vibrate because it's being forced to vibrate at its natural frequency. But the other demonstration with this, beat frequency, is almost the opposite. Resonance happens when two things have the same frequency. But what if I adjust the tuning fork, now it does not have the same frequency. Right off the bat, when I hit it, the other one doesn't vibrate. But when I sound them together, you can hear the beats. That fluctuation in sound, the wah, 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 wah sound that you hear, is what we call beats. And they happen because these are out of tune. If they were perfectly in tune, you wouldn't hear any of those beats anymore. But because they're slightly out of tune, we have constructive interference, which makes the sound bigger, and destructive interference, which makes the sound smaller, quieter. And so when you sound them together, if they're out of tune, you get that switching between constructive and destructive interference causing that wah 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 sound that we call beats. The further out of tune these are, the more beats you hear each second. So we even call that the beat frequency. But if I start tuning this back, the closer to being in tune they are, the slower the beats get. If I adjust this closer, I still hear them, but they're slowing down. There's less beats each second until eventually they would go away perfectly. If you play a musical instrument, you might have actually done this before. They call it relative tuning. Relative tuning is where you tune your instruments 
not by playing to a musical tuner where you can objectively tune, but when you compare the sounds of two instruments. If they are in tune, then you won't hear those beats. You won't hear that fluctuation. But if they're out of tune, even a little bit, you'll hear that pattern changing. I don't know if I'll be able to get these in tune, but we can try. We can get close. And a good way to check to see if they are in tune is to see if they cause each other to resonate. Pretty good. <laughs> I actually, the second hit, because I didn't believe that I actually got it in tune. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> I'm like, oh wow, he hit that on the money.